so Will, I believe you had something to say. Well, yes, I, 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 I took away um, an MP3 of, of Carl Munson's show, because, as you know, he's, he's returned from time to time to Phonic. Uh, he was here, I think, last Monday. Yeah. And uh, I think he may be back next week as well. Yeah. And um, I, I thought it was, it was a very good example to us of, of not having too many silences and so forth. Um, but it was a bit over the top plug in Seal Hain, I thought. Well, it, it, I mean, he, is, he did say that he now works for Seal Hain and his guest was from Seal Hain, and most of the bands he played are appearing at, at Seal Hain. Um, so I've got this, this sample just to, to, to show what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> Exeter's local sound alternative for the city and beyond. 106.8 FM and online at www.phonic.fm. That's right, Commenton here, the Barefoot Broadcaster, I'm sometimes known as, also formerly of the new Exeter Radio Show. Uh, this morning here, standing in uh, between, it's like a Pat Bensberg sandwich, because uh, Pat kicked things off this morning. He'll be back with the eccentric selection. Oh, can you imagine that, Mark? Because you've met Pat now, being sandwiched I, I between have. two of him. I have. He's gone for his scrambled eggs, though, so I don't want to be in that sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. we'll, we'll keep the windows open if we have that sandwich sandwich later I think on that's a good idea okay excellent right mark turner's with me he's the music manager at hannah's at seal hain uh, just up the road up on the hill there between well i guess it's uh, however you look at it i was going to say between newton abbott and ashburton you could say buffy tracy newton abbott and ashburton in that triangle up on the hill there how do you describe it to people um, i describe it as halfway between exeter halfway between plymouth um ideally situated to cater for all your music needs <laughs> <laughs> Do you just love that post, baby? <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Yes. Wonderful. Okay. And uh, as I mentioned before, <laughs> we should, we'll have to edit that out. We can just play it as a jingle, can't we? Yes. Uh, uh, here on Phonic FM 106.8, we're with you until midday. So another uh, hour and a half-ish to go. And we've been listening to uh, Mark's selections. We heard his funeral record. Are we better say what that was. Smashing Pumpkins. Um, Smashing Pumpkins and Today. Today. Yeah. Which would be very poignant, wouldn't, wouldn't it, it, as a funeral song? Song. Absolutely. Yeah. And I know most of my family hate it, so that's the other reason I would love them to listen to it. What, well. like your last laugh? Was, Indeed. Right, okay. Two fingers up, so yeah. <laughs> Get on well with your family, do you? you no. Know. <laughs> Great. Also, funeral songs. We'd love to hear those. I remember in this very studio, I interviewed Simon Smith of Green Fuse, the like, alternative uh, funeral company and celebrants. Uh, of, I suppose that's the way things are going, isn't it? People are celebrating lives rather than mourning losses more and more. Ooh, and he played the I top can, ten I can funeral chew, I can shoehorn something in here. <laughs> Go on. I'll stand back. Yeah. Go on. Fifth, thank you, Carl. Um, 5th of November, Mexican Night of the Dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. Seamless. Yeah. Yeah. Seamless. The Yellow Room, Hannah's at Seal Hain. Oh. Again, tickets on sale for that as well. People are so it's so going to think that we prepared that. That was beautiful. <laughs> if they knew us, they'd know that wasn't true. Now, is there, a, is there a Mexican death version of the piñata? I mean, I'm not suggesting anyone beats corpses with sticks until the sweets <laughs> come out, but is what, what happens on a Mexican Night of the Dead? Um, it's, it's a celebration of life, basically. Right. Um, so we have, like, a full, uh, full-on dance evening. Uh, Pete Isaacs from Jelly Jazz actually is going to be DJing at that as well. Great. Um, and... It is, it is celebration. There's, there's processions. Um, Lee Hodges, the organizer of uh, the event, is going to be, um, well, I think this week actually starting construction of all of the props that are needed for the show for the uh, midnight procession, which I am particularly looking forward to. Massive, great big skulls, heads, that sort of thing. Through the club? Yeah, and through the quad as well. Oh my goodness, yeah, that's going to be so, amazing. So it should be amazing. And the real good thing is that um, he's obviously building all those pieces at um, Hannah's at Seal Hain, and he's very, very kindly um, um, agreed to have all the students the, 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 that use the ivy, the ivy rooms there actually help with the construction of those heads. Centre of a cultural renaissance, and it's all for charity. It's all for charity. How about man. that? How about that? Incredible. Burning torches as well? Um, burning everything because some people say there are a few burning torches standing by around Newton Abbott area yes there are <laughs> yes well uh, segueing neatly between what you want played at your funeral and what the next gig is is pretty marvellous but I thought the, the really strange bit was um, ideally placed between Exeter and Plymouth because uh, it's actually not that easy to find it's, I, it's very easy 
Well, I don't think so, especially from Exeter. Well, Exeter's the hardest bit, but it's, it is fairly easy. I found it on the second go. Well, I suppose that's not bad. Not bad, yeah. But um, would you would you agree? What what I've eventually been told is that if you're coming from Exeter, you have yep. to really go into Newton Abbott and pretend you're going to Plymouth. No, no, no. And no. then you can get into it that way. Which Google map do you look at? <laughs> well, I'm just going what people have right, told no, me. You, you come off at um, Drumbridges. Yes. All right, you go towards Newton Abbott. Yes. And about... Uh, I don't know, about a mile or so along the road, there's a Stover Park, Stover School. For yes. Very nice school. Yes. And then further on that, there's a crossroads. Yes. Which uh, it says to some plant world or something. Plants galore. That's it. Plants Turn galore. right there. Yeah. And then you go along, and the first little baby road, unmarked road these are. Well, exactly. That's yeah. my point, J.D. That's these are okay. unmarked roads. Yeah, everybody's got satellite navigation systems nowadays. Oh, I suppose that's true. Yes. Um, so you don't take the first one. No. You can take the first one, but it would be rather hard to get round a bend at the top. I tried it on the first go, and I couldn't do it, so I had to go back into Newton Abbott to <laughs> come out again. But you take the next one along. OK. And that's uh, another little baby road, unmarked. It's all country fried, you know, around there. Oh, right, you know? yes. It's all down on the farm. <laughs> and you take the first left. Yes. And you go up to the top, and, and there's a house opposite you. Yes. A bungalow. Yep. You take left, and you go down, you follow that road round, and so hands on the right. It's so simple. OK. Well, so, JD, I mean, this, this, all, this is all true, and you're saying on your second time you've got to know the way. Yes. So now you're OK. But I, I'll tell you into a top secret, shall I? Right. My sister did live down the road from it, so she actually <laughs> told me which way to go. But I did get, get it wrong once. or Yeah, once I think it was. But it's okay. just quite a so, difficult little place. So, so people coming from Exeter can find it. Yeah. I still think that if you're coming from Plymouth, there's sort of flags light your way. And well, Pl- uh, it's the, very clearly signed well, Pl- 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 how to get to Seal Hen. Plymouth so would come I, off at the Newton Abbott turning... It says Newton Abbott. So you, so you, can, you can only get off to, to Newton Abbott um, coming off... There's only one slip road off the, from Plymouth to Exeter. It's um, just beyond, I think, Kenton or something, some funny name. Right. Um, and that's the only one you can go to, to Newton Abbott on. And if you go along there, you, can, you, you go right past the big entrance that says Selhain and just turn left into it. Yes. So I think... There ought to be better signs from plants galore. That's what I well, think. Well, they, they as so Hain should actually... They do should be doing they, something, they, about, something it. about it. This, yeah. this, this just sort of casual chat, it's ideally placed between Exeter and Plymouth. Uh, it's meaningless, isn't it? I mean, our show here, The Wild Show, maybe we talk at too great a length and we ramble a bit, <laughs> but we ask the difficult <laughs> questions. Sorry. We go into the detail. Yes. So uh, I'm, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping the next time Carl turns up on Phonic possibly on Monday, mm. uh, he'll explain this a bit better and, and why they're not doing more to, to, to yeah, do a few signs. Just to go and put a sign up. There's, you would just, have thought so, wouldn't well, you? Well, there's so many signs which say, you know, that each field belongs to Sir Hain, you know, to Dame Hannah and Rogers' place. They yes. Nick one of those and put so, it up. so they just so, want a few signs they just from want, Exeter they that just make it easier to get maybe to. Maybe three signs to get three. to. Three? Three signs will do. OK. It's quite, you know, and, the, the, and you come past the entrance anyway, the entrance has got... The name on it, so yes, yeah, so it should be it should be quite possible. Yeah, quite, yes, they have well, one for I the main he, road. I think he may be back on this on this uh, phonic FM on Monday, so mm-hmm. perhaps he'll explain himself. Okay. So, um, as we heard the smashing pump, well, we heard about the smashing pumpkins there. We now have the Smashing Pumpkins track. People, and we've just had an email into the studio saying we were criticising Carl and Silhan, which we were plainly not, because I think Silhan is a great place, and I think everyone should go there 
because I think the facilities they offer are great and we were not criticising at all. Will was just saying how it is hard to find and we were identifying a route which people can follow from Exeter so we were trying we were increasing the way hopefully the number of people who will go to Silhane from Exeter so Will I believe you have something to say well, yeah, I think I think you've said it, Chris. Really, uh, we we just wanted to get more into the nitty gritty of it, and um, the, the 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 well, I, can't, I mean, I'm not wanting to criticise a fellow DJ. I'm not really criticising. Um, no, the, the whole the whole style of Carl's show is is just a bit glossy, and um, uh, there are problems. There is the issue of how you get there. I think it needs to be addressed, and it can't be explained too often because it's it's not simple. No. So that's all we're trying to do, and we said we think signs would be good, and hopefully, Silhane will address that because I know I love it there, but I can't get there. Well, mainly because I can't drive. <laughs> um, anyway, um. I was meant to give something else up and I've completely forgotten. Um, so Well another another pumpkins trap, possibly. No, no, we can't have pumpkins, but I think we can have this. Mm-hmm. 